Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to our review of the Intel Core i7 7700K KB Lake processor clocked at 4.2 GHz. Retails for about $349 and this uh, processor comes unlocked. Now your max frequency uh, overclocking is about 4.5 GHz uh, and you also have support for socket LGA1151. Now we decided to go with the MSI Gaming Pro Carbon Z270 uh, motherboard because it gives us support for 32 gigs of RAM DDR4, which we'll be using with this. And also uh, it has support for two PCIe M.2s. Uh, we're using one from Kingston. And, and also our additional storage on this build is from PMY with a 500 gigabyte SSD. Now the motherboard also supports lighting all across the board, has support for USB type C. Uh, we do have a plethora of USB ports, ethernet, uh, gigabit ethernet as well. And uh, it also has a built-in HDMI, but of course we're using our own graphics card. So here's the final look of the build, and this is not a build video, which is why I'm just showing you briefly, but we are running a Maxwell Titan X with this build, and that will be the graphics card using overall for this uh, benchmark test for the uh, Core i7-7700K. So looking at benchmarks, we can see productivity is at 1337, media creation is 1817, uh, data and financials is at 1889, and responsiveness, responsiveness is 1417. Overall, it's about 1597. Uh, compared to the calibration system, which is a, an older system, this is actually a Sysmark 2014 SC uh, benchmark test, but it does rank pretty well and high, and something that you gamers can take a look at. But of course, you guys are concerned about gaming. So so we're running Division here. This is running at 1080p uh, with Ultra. Oh, so actually this is 2560 by 1080p to be exact because we're running a wide resolution here. And our frame rate is capped at 60 frames per second, but it doesn't deviate from 60. So while playing, um, you can see here with the open world space, even while we get into combat here, it's still locked at 60 frames per second, which is pretty solid for this playing at ultra. Now we're going to change and move our resolution up to the max, which is 3840 by 1600. And, and our refresh rate will be at 74.5 Hertz. And graphics are set at ultra again. So everything is maxed out division here. And uh, you can see we've got, uh, we're just gonna turn VSync off because we don't have a VSync monitor running with this. But right now the resolution, I mean, the frame rate is at 37 and you're gonna get a, a much wider range here between 37 to about 50 frames per second uh, with this. But again, you can see the processor does handle pretty well uh, for games like this as you would expect. Make sure we just make sure that uh, VSync is, we'll put it at auto again, leave it there. But you can clearly see uh, the no slowdowns also moving to more combat situations. Frame rates is now back up to 42, 43 frames per second. And uh, the processor gives you some nice enhanced performance uh, with what you're getting. Now, the previous processor we used was a 6700K and uh, we'll move to one more game to give you just one more uh, benchmark test to actually look at. Now our final game is Doom and right off the bat you can see game settings uh, resolution is 2560 by uh, 1080. Don't know why it was capped at that. I have no idea. It's something to do with the game settings itself. Vulcan, everything's at ultra, and we're doing 120 frames per second. Our CPU load is pretty low. They're at three and two. Average is about 3.47. So we've got really low CPU loads, which is good. Lower is better number here for CPU loads on this. A GPU loads also is not too bad at like eight. Uh, and you can see how well this actually performs. And this is a really good indication of how much your processor is handling. Now, if you're thinking in terms of, you know, upgrading, I would say definitely yes, you know, and looking at the price difference, a 6700K brand new is about 309. A 7700K is 329. That's $29 difference I think is worth it in terms of that extra performance. Now if you're doing video editing and things like that or even running some CAD software, you're going to get additional benefits to the software to uh, software processing because of the processor uh, you're using here with this 7700K. So I think that is something, um, you know, gamers and people are looking to build systems that can actually boost out a lot of uh, performance will li likely look at. So guys, if you have any questions or any comments about the uh, 
Intel at Core i7 7700K KB Lake processor. Let me know. Otherwise, if you want to pick it up, use our Amazon link down below to purchase it and also pick up uh, the motherboard and all the parts that we mentioned in this video if you want to build something similar or anyway, use the link to just purchase what you want. Don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. And once you do, hit the notification icon so you're notified with our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.